Okay, what I have here is my uh, Banner Engineering Ethernet Data Radio, which was just released last week. And um, I'm going to show this around to customers this week and um, just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing uh, of my demo. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions or if you have any better ideas as to how um, to go about this and kind of, um, I mean, customers who understand what I'm doing, they understand it's kind of cool, but, you know, if they don't have um, too much background on, on this stuff, they, you know, they don't really get excited about it. But anyway, so what I have here is um, the point that I'm trying to make to my customers is that I can control... I'm sorry, I can communicate between my uh, my computer and my Red Lion G306 HMI. So what I am doing, first of all, in front of my customer would be um, I have my Ethernet cable hooked up directly to my um, Ethernet, uh, directly hooked up to my uh, HMI. And I want to prove to the customer that I have communication, so I do that most easily uh, for me by pinging it. And so at this point, I open up my command prompt and I send the uh, ping to uh, 192.168.1.20, which is the IP address for the red line screen. And uh, I ping it. I've already done this. I've got my four packets sent and my four packets received back. Tells me I have 74 milliseconds um, round trip, you know. So um, at this point, I take it to the next level and I kind of want to prove to the customer that I can replace this Ethernet cable with, you know, this uh, Ethernet data radio. So, for example, I have an application where I have my computer. Uh, or you know whatever other device you're you're communicating out two miles from your control panel where you have your HMI. So what I do here is I place my slave, my gate, my uh, my radio slave out on the field or wherever the remote location might be, and I um, I place my Ethernet um, master next to my red line screen panel. So um, instead of having my Ethernet cable, I am creating a imaginary, <laughs> if you will, cable between um, my radios, between my computer and my HMI. So at this point, um, this is a very simple setup. I have my slave here. My network settings are already configured, I've already bound to my uh, master and um, it's just Ethernet is hooked up directly to my computer and then I have my, oh I'm sorry, I have my uh, my power here and my master is directly hooked up to my HMI over Ethernet. There we go. And on my HMI I just have a, a data tag that gives them um, kind of shows our IP address, which is a dot 20. And these Ethernet radios have a separate power supply, which is just more convenient for me right now. So at this point, I would ping my 192 .168 .1 .20. And I proved to the customer that I am four miles away or whatever, and I've got full communication at 300 milliseconds. And that's pretty much it, but it does, you know, it's very interesting. And um, kind of a neat feature here is I go to my 192.168.120 IP. And all of a sudden, I've got a, a website. Excuse me, I have a website with a remote view, and I'm seeing what I see on my HMI. So that's kind of a cool integration um, to get people thinking and kind of start developing some ideas and applications for, 
for the radios. Um, let me know if you can think of something that might be a little bit more, um, more of a wow for customers. I mean, I think this is pretty cool. This is a standard just test to prove, you know, that we have communication, but, um, there's a lot of things and, and applications that can come up for these. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts.